Good morning. Welcome to the Wichita Police Department Rainer Watch. Tuesday, April the 17th. Warm day. Finally getting a little bit of spring weather. I hope everyone has a good day and can enjoy that weather. We have four cases that we're going to cover today at our Rainer Watch. So let's get right to it. Two armed robberies that occurred yesterday and then also two aggravated batteries that also occurred yesterday. First one is going to be the armed robbery. Case number 18C24026. It's occurred in the 2000 block of East Pawnee at about 2.20 yesterday afternoon. On Monday, April 16th at approximately 2.20, officers responded to an armed robbery call at the Loan Max Title Loans business in the 2000 block of East Pawnee. When officers arrived to make contact with a 29-year-old female employee who stated that two unknown suspects had entered the business and one was armed with a silver handgun and was demanding money. Money was given to the suspect, who then, and then, excuse me, and then both suspects fled the scene on foot, and they got into a blue Honda that was parked on Minneapolis Street. Fortunately, there were no injuries in this case. We are asking anybody in our community, if you have any additional information on this case, to please call Crime Stoppers at 267-2111 or detectives at 268-4407. First suspect is an unknown black male, 6'1", brown eyes, slender build, was wearing a gray hoodie with the hood up, jeans, and had a black bandana. Second suspect is an unknown black male, 6 foot, slender build, was wearing a white hoodie with the hood up, was also wearing a mask and jeans. And please remember if information you provide to Crime Stoppers at 267-2111 does lead to arrest, you could be eligible for a reward. What was the case number on that again? 24026. Was there any video surveillance? I believe our investigators are checking to see if there's any video surveillance, if there's anything uh, the investigators wish to put out on social media or to the media, we will do so promptly. I don't have a, an amount, but there was money taken from the business. Charlie, this is um, the same type of description as mm -hmm. several um, armed robberies we've had. Mm -hmm. Are police looking into the connection between these two because the description is literally the same? Yeah. Um, the, the descriptions are the same uh, from what we've had in other uh, robberies. So yeah, our investigators are diligently working each and every one of these cases and they work these cases to see if there's any type of connection. So that is something we are currently working on as we speak. So because there, there have been more than a, a few now, mm -hmm. is there any way you could provide any, you know, mug shots or anything from surveillance video that sure. you guys have? And I, I will follow up with our investigators. And again, if there's something that we feel as a police department we could get to our public that would help us identify somebody, we will get that out immediately. Uh, but at this time, we're just asking for the community, if you have any information, to please give us a call. Again, Detective 268-4407, and if your information, calling Crime Stopper, leads to an arrest, you could be eligible for reward 267-2111. And the getaway car was a blue Honda? I, all I have was a blue Honda at this time. And you said she was 21? The, 20, uh, 29. 29. Mm-hmm. Uh, second armed robbery occurred last night about 9.20, case number 24105 in the 1700 block of South Seneca at the TP shop, smoke shop. Monday, April 16th, approximately 9.20 p.m., officers responded to an armed robbery call at the TP smoke shop in the 1700 block of South Seneca. When officers arrived, they made contact with a 28-year-old female employee who stated that two unknown suspects had entered the business and one of them was armed with a silver handgun. The suspect brandished the handgun, pointed it at the employee, and demanded money. Money was taken by the suspect, and both suspects fled on foot. Fortunately, again, in this case, there were no injuries, and again, we're asking for our community to please assist us. If you have any information on this case, please call Crime Stoppers 267-2111 or Detectives 268-4407. First suspect's an unknown white male. He was wearing a blue KU hoodie, gray Nike sweatpants, 
and had a camo colored mask. The second suspect was an unknown black male wearing a black sweatshirt with Nike written on the chest, black pants, and he was armed with a silver handgun. And again, uh, I know uh, descriptions are similar, uh, modus operandi are similar, so our investigators are working to see if possibly these are connected to each other and or if they're connected to any other recent robberies that we've had. I do encourage our community, if you're working at a business by yourself or you're working late, uh, keep, your, keep the trash door or the service door, they sometimes call it in the back of the business, try to keep it locked at all times. Keep the lighting so people can see inside the business from, from the street or from the parking lot of your business and then you can see out into the parking lot as well. If you notice any type of suspicious vehicles, notice any type of suspicious behavior, please call 911 immediately. And again, to the community, if you happen to see something that seems suspicious to you at a business or uh, around a business, please call 911 so officers can respond and investigate that information. This one uh, is 24105. Was there a vehicle involved in this one? Not that I know of at this time. There could have been, but I don't have that information at this time. No money for this one either? I, don't, I can get it for you. I just didn't write it down. Yeah. And for the first description um, for the suspect, can you describe that one one more time? On, on the second case here, the first suspect was an unknown white male with a blue KU hoodie, gray Nike sweatpants, and a camel colored mask. So in this situation, uh, the suspect was not, the other few other ones have been unknown black males. This mm -hmm. one has an unknown white male? Correct. All right, uh, we had two aggravated batteries that occurred yesterday. Uh, both of these were not random incidents. Both of them were domestic situations. Uh, the first case number is going to be 18C23993. Occurred in the 800 block of North Batten at about 12.15 yesterday afternoon. Monday, April 16th, approximately 12.15 p.m., officers responded to a shooting call at a residence in the 800 block of North Batten. When officers arrived, they made contact with a 13-year-old male who had a gunshot wound to his chest. The male was taken to an area hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Through the investigation, it was learned that a 14-year-old male and 13-year-old male brothers were in a bedroom to play a video game. A handgun was in this bedroom and the 14-year-old male was handling the gun when it was discharged and struck the 13-year-old male. The 14-year-old male was arrested and booked into jail for criminal possession of a firearm, uh, juvenile criminal possession of a firearm, <coughs> aggravated battery, and possession of marijuana. This is still an ongoing investigation, and again, like I said earlier, was not a random incident. So the gu gun belonged to the 14-year-old? Uh, it's still an ongoing investigation as far as uh, where the gun was, where the gun came from. It was in this bedroom. It was the 14-year-old who discharged the gun? Correct. There, they were brothers in the bedroom. The 14-year-old had was handling this gun, and it, it was discharged, striking the 13-year-old. Was he playing with it? Again, that, we're still investigating all the circumstances of exactly what occurred, how this gun ended up there. Was there any disagreement between the brothers while they were playing the video game? Not, not that we know of. Do you know what type of game it was? I don't. Okay, second case is also a shooting call that came out yesterday late afternoon about 440 in the 2500 block of South Mays Court. Case number 24053. 24053. This occurred uh, again about 440 yesterday afternoon. Officers responded to a shooting call at a residence 2500 block of South Mays Court. Upon arrival, officers did make contact with a 28-year-old female. She had a gunshot wound to the face, and she was taken to an area hospital in critical condition and does remain in critical condition at this time. 
Initially, upon officers arriving, they were not able to gain entry into the residence. A 40-year-old male uh, was also inside the residence and opened the door. And then after opening the door, proceeded to the victim where it appeared he was trying to provide first aid to the victim. This male was taken into custody and through the investigation of this incident was booked into jail for one count of aggravated battery, domestic violence. And again, like I said earlier, this was not a random incident, another uh, domestic situation. And it is an ongoing investigation, again, to learn and all the details of exactly what had occurred that led up to this. What was the relationship between the man and woman? Uh, let me get their specific relationship. I believe they're a boyfriend girlfriend, but let me let me double check that. Is there anybody else in the home at the time? Just this forty-year-old male and the twenty-eight-year-old female. You said at first they had trouble getting into the house, and then mm -hmm. they finally answered the door, and then went back to the woman. To Correct. Mm-hmm. And we called 911? I believe so, yes. Anything else this morning? Okay, appreciate everybody being here. I hope you have a great Tuesday. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, yeah. Do you have an update on the um, child abuse uh, rape case from yesterday? Just how many kids there were, exactly who was. Uh, no, I, I released some information to uh, yesterday. Uh, there was one male taken into custody. There was nine children at the home. Um, all were listed as victims in the case and uh, had been removed from the home at this time during the investigation. Yeah. Anything else? Okay, everybody, I hope you have a great Tuesday. Thank you for being here with us on Facebook. And we'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks.